what's up everybody? This is Brandon here from the old school GameVault.com. And today we're going to go over uh, counterfeit video games um, and how to spot them as they're starting to become a real nuisance in the used video game market. Um, huge websites like eBay allow people to make reproduction games and sell them at a fraction of the cost. And people are buying them up probably and, you know, trying to sell them like this box right here. This person's trying to sell these games to me and, you know, this is like $1,000 something worth the video games that I buy, <clears throat> you know, and as you can see, these are some rare games. I mean, we have Capo Evo here. We have two copies of Chrono Triggers, two copies of Arrow Fighters. Now look just how bright those labels look from there. Uh, two Legend of the Zeldas, and we have an Earthbound. And so those are some, you know, those are some pretty rare games right there in the Super Nintendo library. But I mean, looking at these games, I could tell you right now that these are counterfeit. Um, we're going to kind of go over um, ways to tell how they're counterfeit. Um, I mean, the best way is always to open up the game. But I'll show you just, if you just glance at them, how to spot the counterfeit. First thing I will, I will notice here, um, Earthbound. You see the little, the, the print on the, the end label here, the print? That's, that's obviously wrong. And the label itself is a little, uh, it's not clear at all. Um, this right here is a real Earthbound. And the label's nice. But look right here. You see the Earthbound's in like kind of a thick, bold um, font right there. And then the Earthbound on this uh, counterfeit is some thin, I don't know, completely different font than the real game is. And you can just tell, I mean, the, the game labels, it's not clear by any stretch of the imagination. Um, you look at uh, Zelda 2. We got two copies of Zelda. Um, the font's wrong in that. I got another, I got a real copy of Zelda somewhere around here. Where did I put it? Uh, but the, con the font is definitely off on the Zelda. And here, we'll show you the real. Here's a real Zelda. You see how the font is kind of green, thicker, just like the Earthbound was? And the font here in the Zelda, it's white. It's a lot uh, smaller. Look at the label here. This is the counterfeit one. You see the label of the... It's player's choice, and the player's choice is really small. See that small ribbon? Which only a player's choice is it's big. It's right here. It takes up, you know, a quarter of the label, of course. Um, this one has a rating K and A. And in my Zelda... There's no rating. And you can see the label just looks a lot cleaner, crisper. The end label. Um, you know, and then we're, you know, I was looking at these. And look at there, look at that. That is freaking spectacular. Now keep in mind, these games are supposed to be 25 years old. So how do, they, these games look like they're brand new, you know? I mean, 25 year old Super Nintendo game. Sure, I mean, it's possible, but I mean, come on. So that's kind of my first thought when I saw Arrow Fighters, I mean, the label, if I look at these labels, you're not even a scratch on them, you know? I mean, not a scratch. The cartridge shells look, you know, pretty darn clean, man. I, you know, I mean, the end label, these end labels aren't bad. They, they look pretty uh, good. Some of the labels, some, sometimes you can tell they're stuck on there. They're not glued in all the way. But that's my first glance at Arrow Fighters. It's like, man, this is awful clean for Arrow Fighters. I mean, all these games are, like, super clean, too, you know. But uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to the insides in a minute. Um, here's a copy of Chrono Trigger that I got. Um, and my first thing about Chrono Trigger is the end label. If you can see that without the glare, you can see the Chrono Trigger is really actually kind of hard to make out there. Like it's there, but you can't really tell it's there. You know what I mean? But if you look on a real copy, you can you can read it's Chrono Trigger. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. I'm not sure if you can or can't. But I could read it. I can make it out. It's much more defined on the, on the legit than it is the counterfeit one. Now, I also noticed on the counterfeit one, um, the K and A, the, the rating right there, is a lot, lot, lot smaller than the K and A and the, you know, the authentic copy I have right here in my hands. So I guess just, you know, looking at these games, I mean, if you really look at these games, the counterfeit games compared to the legit games, you can definitely see some flaws. I mean, if you just look closely at the label, you can see imperfections. You can see that they're just not, not clear. It's not focused right. You know, like here it says licensed by Nintendo on the counterfeit game. And yeah, it says it, but it's not clear. I mean, it, you know, everything's clear and defined on a, on a genuine Nintendo game. So really, if you have any questions, I mean, if you just pay attention and look, I'm sure you could just pick out the flaws like I have done here. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to go in and open up the cartridges. I mean, here's Evo right here. This one, uh, the label, I mean, it's not even sticking there. And again, it's, you know, it's, come on. It's, <laughs> it's like brand new. But what we'll do, let's open up, uh, we'll open up a fake uh, Chrono Trigger, we'll open up a fake Arrow Fighters, and we'll just show you. I don't know if anybody's ever played Arrow Fighters, and it's, it's a, 
It's a little shumpage game, shump game, which is like a shooter. It's a it's a flight shooter game. It's not longest game in the world. I think I beat it in like 25 minutes, maybe. It was okay. Personally, I don't know if I would pay uh, the money for a real copy. But look at, I mean, if you look at that, I don't know what kind of board that is. I've, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a board like that. I guess not, not to. But the thing is, this board doesn't look like Arrow Fighters board would look, and there's no the board says doesn't say Nintendo anywhere. I mean, uh, you'll see what I mean when I pull out a real board. But this board, they're probably all the same, the same size too. I would imagine in the counterfeit games. So that's that's what I mean. The Arrow Fighters now open up a, a legit board, and you'll kind of see the difference right off the bat from the chips. You know, legit boards say it will say Nintendo on them. Okay, here's a legit Chrono Trigger I got right here. Now, you can already tell the difference of the board. I can tell by the weight of the board because this board's got a battery on it. But, see what I mean? Right there it says Nintendo. Right here. It says uh, it's copyright 1993 Nintendo. The counterfeit board had nothing like that. And this board's got a bunch of different like writing that Nintendo did way back when. And the fake ones doesn't have anything. Now, generally, most of the chips, at least one chip will say Nintendo. This right here, my fat little finger is says Nintendo on it. Um, a lot of times Nintendo uses MX boards. Um, this board right here says MX right there. Um, that's one of the telltale signs in Game Boy Advance games. Um, fake ones don't say MX, and most Game Boy Advance games say MX on them. But right there, I mean, you can see the quality of craftsmanship in the board. Um, I'll open up a fake, uh, the fake Chrono Trigger here so you can see, just see exactly side-by-side -side comparison. Now, when I'm opening up these fake counterfeit games, I can notice the screws aren't uh, circular on the top. They they look like they're cut out of with a machine or something. They're just not. They're not like rounded like the Nintendo boards. Now here's a fake. Uh, this is the fake Chrono Trigger board right here. I mean, uh, it has a battery in it. Surprising. I've seen them before. They don't have batteries, but it's so thin. It feels so just not real. Um, as you see, the chips. These chips say nothing about Nintendo. There's no Nintendo logo anywhere. And it's pretty much the same size as the other board. Now, if we compare apples to apples here, so I mean, you can see, you can see, there's no writing on the fake board. And the real board's got all the writing, the chips. You know, the real board's got Nintendo. This one's, I don't know, I don't know. But that's pretty much the telltale signs. I mean, you open them up. I, I've seen. You could pretty much tell a fake game by opening it up. You'll see the whatever kind of work they do on the inside in these boards. But that's pretty much a telltale sign, especially for NES games, N64 games, Game Boy Advance games. All these fake games, it's the board. They're, they're garbage, you know. But I, I really wanted to show everybody this because this is a huge box of games that some guy was just trying to sell me. And I'm like, well, what is this shit? You know, this is, <laughs> this is a bunch of crap. So that's, that's what I wanted to get across, how to spot these fake video games. I do have another video about uh, spotting fake Game Boy Advance games on my YouTube channel. Now, if I get some Nintendo stuff in, or like NES games, I'll, I'll do a video um, for that. But uh, hopefully, you know, you, you can avoid these uh, counterfeit games, guys, because this sucks. And, uh, you know, places like eBay let people sell this reproduction garbage, and it's terrible. It's really terrible because it's killing the used video game market because people don't know anymore. I mean, the last couple years, I get so many emails now when I sell video games about, is it authentic, is it genuine, you know, because all these idiots are allowed to sell this crap on eBay and get away with it. You know what I mean? So, I'm Brandon from the Old School Game Vault. I hope this video helped save somebody from investing a bunch of money in a piece of shit. Um, check out more of my channel. I hope, hope I taught you something awesome. Thanks for watching so much. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.